Before switching on the 3M Clean Trace Illuminometer, check the test chamber to make sure it's empty. It is highly recommended not to leave used swabs in the chamber after use. Leaving used swabs in the chamber may damage the equipment. Then press and hold the gray on-off button located below the cursor control button for 3 to 5 seconds and let it go. After about 10 seconds of black screen, a color-changing 3M logo will appear to confirm the power-on process has started. Then the 3M logo and tagline will appear, followed by a diagnostic check screen. The whole boot-up process may take up to a minute. During the diagnostic check, a progress bar is visible. When it's done, you will have the options to skip sync or sync. If you are ready to synchronize your luminometer, tap sync. Otherwise, tap skip sync. When you get to the login page, select the default user if your username is not showing up in the list of users. Then tap login to log in. If your username was already set up through the 3M CleanTrace hygiene management software, you can select your username by tapping select user and then tapping your username. In this case, Bay Lopez. If the PIN code is enabled, enter your four digit PIN number and tap the checkbox in the lower right corner. You may request the default user's PIN code through the online support form or through your 3M representative. After you've signed in, you will be taken to the LM1 software homepage. The homepage displays the list of assigned sample plans and unplanned test. You may now start a new run of a sample plan or start a new unplanned test. Sample plans are assigned through the desktop software. Unplanned test is available to all users, including the default user. Select a sample plan, assuming one has been created using the 3M CleanTrace hygiene management software. The test location and test type are displayed on the next screen. You may press on the eye icon to get test point details. You will see a more detailed description of the test point, including full location hierarchy, test types, and picture of the sampling area if one has been uploaded. Tap the picture to make it larger. Tap it again to minimize it. After activating the UXL100 swab by shaking it side to side for five seconds, open the 3M Clean Trace Illuminometer chamber by pressing the rocker cap. Insert the activated 3M Clean Trace test sample into the chamber, making sure the handle of the test swab is at the top of the chamber. Then release the rocker cap to close the chamber. Press the start button. The progress bar will show you when the test is complete. Once the test is completed, you may press the comment icon. Press Add Comments and you may select any comments that apply, such as New Chemistry Used and New Crew. Comments are preset from within the software. Selected comments will also appear on the results report in the 3M CleanTrace software. If you have a fail, follow your correct SOP to re-clean and re-rinse the surfaces. We recommend retesting once a corrective action has been followed. Insert the swab and tap Retest. After the test is completed, remove the swab from the chamber and go to the next test point. Then, open the chamber by pressing the rocker cap and remove the test swab. Follow the instructions for disposal in the 3M Clean Trace test instructions for use. If the test swab is left in the chamber for 30 seconds, an error code will be displayed followed by an audio alert. Other types of tests can also be performed. For example, visual inspection. For visual inspection in test types, select Visual Inspection. After evaluation of the surface, select the appropriate result. For example, Fail. You may also press the Add Comments icon and tap any comments that apply, such as Surface Not Cleaned and Debris Present. Comments are preset from within the software. Then click OK. As with ATP testing, you may decide to retest once a corrective action has been followed. Press Retest and select the appropriate result. Then go on to the next test. 
At any point, you can go to the result page, tap the middle tab at the top, and review the tests you have taken recently, along with their results. Test results are color-coded, green for pass, red for fail, and yellow for caution. The display also includes other details associated with the test point. Please note that unplanned tests are not color-coded as no pass-fail values are defined for them. To display results with a failed test status, tap Failed Tests. To display the most recent results, tap Last Test. To display results for the selected sample plan, tap Sample Plan. To display additional test results, tap the scroll down or scroll up arrows, or simply swipe up or down on the touchscreen. To turn the luminometer off, press and hold the on-off button for about 3 seconds. A power off bar will appear. A second bar will appear asking if you want to turn it off. Press OK. To put the luminometer to sleep, press and release the same power off button quickly about one second. The screen will go black. To wake it up, press and hold the top cursor button for about three seconds.